Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Dylan Van Baal goes from last to first at Paris Rubix if there has been one standout team of the 2022 Spring Classic season, then in Neos Grenadiers surely takes the title, having followed their victories at Amstel Gold Race and Robins Pill with the one to crown them all, Paris Rubix on Sunday. The title is the first of Paris Rubix's famous cobblestone trophies claimed by the British squad since their foundation in 2010 with Dutchman Dylan van Baal hoisting the famous prize aloft on the podium Sunday at the Velodrome André Petro. Van Baal, now a veteran of eight editions of the race, had never stepped on the podium of a monument before, but can now at the biggest classic of the Malta Palmas boosted two weeks ago by a second place at the Tour of Flanders. The 29-year-old's 2021 outing on the cobbles of northern France had ended with him finishing among the last ten riders who made their way over the line outside the time limit at the wet race last October. His win this time out marks an extraordinary turnaround between two editions of the same race. Of course, I have never experienced to be the first guy on the velodrome, Van Baal said in the post-race press conference held in the neighbouring indoor stab velodrome. I know how it is to be the last guy. Last year I was out of time limit, he added but this year I had goosebumps. I can t describe in words what the feeling was. I tried to enjoy it as much as possible. Van Baal's decisive attack came on the four-star cobbled sector of the Campanen Pebble, 19 kilometers from the finish in Rubex, having earlier bridged across to a lead group containing Mach Murray, Bahrain Victorious, and Yves Lampert, Quickstep Alpha Vinyl, at Sai Suing. He extended his lead on the final five-star sector at the Car 4 d'Elabre, pushing on alone in the final kilometres, despite Wout Van Aert, Jumbo Visma, and Stefan Kung, Trupama FDJ, having bridged across to the chase group behind. Less than half an hour after his move, Van Baal had captured the biggest win of his nine-year career. I just checked just to make sure I was alone, that they didn't T-flick me that their WASNT still guys up the road, Van Baal said of the final moments of his race before entering the velodrome. Now it is super special, especially when the team car with Survey Navin and Roger Hammond came next to me. That was super special, and I really started to believe it because with the communication, you know the gap a little bit, but you don't get so much information. Yeah, you don't want to celebrate too early. Van Baal's win marks the continuation of a sterling run of results sparked by a second place in last year's road race at the Leuven World Championships. He said that the result was what he needed in order to fully believe in himself going forward, belief which put him not far short of a rare Flanders Rubex double. I think last year after the World Championships was for me a really important moment that I made the click, he explained. With the national coach Kuzmarin out as well, he gave me so much confidence going into that race. He just kept believing in me. You can build on that the whole winter. To have confidence in those races that you really can race for the win and then, of course Flanders was confirmation that I was on the right path. After the Worlds he said that I just need to believe in myself more than I did before. Yeah, I listened to his words, and you see what happens. Every single one of those riders believes in this way of racing Van Baal's win at Rubex comes days after Mika Kwiatkowski's triumph at Amstel Gold Race and Neo Pro Magnus Sheffield's stunning win at Brabant's Pill. Both men were part of the team again on Sunday, and the personnel out on the road WASNT the only thing the victories had in common. That would be the strength in depth that has emerged throughout the spring. Teenager Sheffield and fellow Neo Pro Ben Turner have improved more and more as the weeks have passed, while another youngster, Tom Pidcock, has played a key role, as have the more experienced riders like Van Baal, Kwiatkowski, and Luke Rowe. The numbers game has been the catchphrase of Ineos riders in recent weeks, with multiple riders working together in the finals of Amstel Gold Race and Robins Pill to deliver the wins. That was in evidence once again on Sunday, though from a much earlier stage than the last run to the line, as the team blew the peloton apart in the crosswinds just 47 kilometers into the race.
We sat in the meeting and it is all about here is the first sector of cobbles and how do we enter into that sector? Said team head of racing, Roger Hammond. I just sat there thinking it is quite a lot of racing to go before then, so let us look a little bit earlier, so we just created tension to see what would happen, basically.